playing the markets is not going to, they're not going to be using BlackRock. They're going to go to the tr trading platforms. Um, look, at, I believe the biggest problem we have in the world, I've talked about this for years, is financial literacy. And I do believe one of the great worries why we have rising populism worldwide is people are frightened of their future, they're frightened of their retirement. We need to use technology to embrace financial literacy. We need to create technology uh, for financial services. We need to create, maybe we have to gamify investing, you know, using mo a mobility and we need to get the next generation really up to speed in terms of what it means to invest for you still future. think they're not participating in, in in what has been this past decade long run very little and i think this is one of the fundamental problems the central bank's response to the financial crisis they only have limited tools and those tools are generally tools that will strengthen financial markets and that's what they did if you look at where housing is and where housing, you know, housing's up, but not nearly as much. And this is why you're seeing those who had equities and financial assets did much better than those who were just having their equity in their home. Larry, just to recap your thoughts about the market, because we have a lot of people who are sitting at home. They want to hear what you're thinking about what's just happened. You said the most recent couple of weeks was really hedge funds de-risking and deleveraging. And some, some hedge funds announced they're closing. And, and so big concerns that went on with that. But you, uh, when you talk about peak earnings, that theory that's out there, you don't think we've hit it yet. You think there could be several we quarters. We believe left. there's a few more quarters. Um, the U.S. economy is still strong. Can it weaken going into the fourth or first quarter if interest rates continue to rise? Sure. A few more quarters sounds very dire. No, I mean, I mean, it, but for, that, for now, I'm not, a few more. Then but, we'll but, I'm not, yeah, but I'm not suggesting we're going to fall off a cliff. Right. I mean, there, as Joe said, there's nothing wrong with a correction. I mean, I know we're all frightened of a 10 percent correction, and we've seen in 80 percent of the stocks more than 10 percent correction. We've seen closer to 15, 18 percent correction with most stocks today. PEs are lower today by three multiple points than there were in January. So if you liked equities when everything felt great, you have to like them more today. The market is actually adjusting to this fear. The market is actually adjusting to the uncertainties. Maybe we are in peak earnings, maybe we're not. But the equity market overall is cheaper today than it was in January. Larry, do you, is there anything to the notion that, you know, Murphy's Law or, is it, is it ironic that you decided to take the lead on corporate you know, accountability and, and being good actors. And then a couple months later, two of your biggest areas of the world where you need to operate does these things, putting you in a position where you have to actually live by your words. And it's like, why did I say that? Now I got to do the right thing in China. I got to do the right thing in Saudi Arabia. It's yeah. like, why did I open my Maybe I could, should have waited until next year to do Joe, the big it's, corporate. It's like life at home or life anywhere <laughs> It else. is ironic, though. I'm kind of laughing because <laughs> no, you, you, you're going to be we, so we, morally. We, we, well, then it, it's, we, you should cut off all business with Saudi I, Arabia I, immediately. I, I said I'm not. I know you're not, which makes it hard for you because you just to live, to walk the walk for what you said corporations should do, you should be doing that. I think we are doing that. I think we're trying to walk the walk it's every tough. day. It's, it's a difficult walk. I it's didn't like, say it was not difficult. It's like on a, but like a Joe, balance beam. If you don't talk about your purpose, I actually believe you no, wobble, you go back and forth. I do believe more than ever you need to do this so you can withstand stuff like what you're talking about. I'm like, a, you know, these are difficult decisions. Right. And I am not going to have everyone agreeing with, with my actions. It just got a lot tougher in the last six months to, to do. I think it's always, I think it's getting tougher and tougher and tougher. And I think this is one of the reasons why governments right. are too focused on short termism. We're all struggling right. with this, this but you know what? social media. And Black and white decisions are, are very rare. And, and they, but I think they've always been rare. And it's, it's, it's a great, it's so many it's things a great are a gray area. And um, nuanced. Larry nuanced. Fink, thank you for coming in. Yeah, thanks thank for all your time. Uh, and uh, spending time with us on so many different you're, issues. You're very Appreciate honest. On your earnings. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I, I, yes. I try you're to be, be very honest. <laughs> and I like that.